That's interesting. Why is there a shotgun shell here? Okay, you can stop hunting. Filming. Here? Yeah. Isn't that scary? Oh, look behind you. <laughs> Nothing. I'm kidding. I just got it and today I'm going to put it to the test. Not, not too many targets here, which means it's good, it's not trashy. Well, it says that there's a target here and, and I just want to dig something up for the sake of, of, of digging it up. but. Doesn't see how deep down it is, so I'm going to just use my pin pointer and uh, we'll see. Okay, I've got a coin indicator. Could be a pop tap, could be a coin, but I'm going to keep digging. I just don't know how deep it is. Um, so we're going to dig the hole. Well, make it bigger anyways and find out. I don't like the fact that it's not telling me how deep it is. Um, it's always a good idea to know how big your target or how deep your target is. I mean, that will dictate how big of a hole you do and how much dirt you take out. So right now I have no idea. So uh, just digging a deep hole and uh, we'll try the pinpointer again. I'm not liking this detector. And I'm not getting a signal anymore. Look at that. Nothing. Is it working? Yeah. Here, somewhere here. Right there. Pinpointer is pretty difficult on this one, so I'm going to dig the hole again and we'll see. Pinpointer is really difficult on this. Before I do, I should probably just see if it's surface or what? Well, the ring turned out to be a shotgun shell, and I gotta tell ya, this is the first shotgun shell that I have ever found. Um, I know there's uh, collectors who collect these things if they're old ones, but uh, looks like it's gonna be an Imperial shotgun shell. Anyways, uh, I'm going to rescan the hole with the metal detector, and then uh, if there's nothing there, I'm gonna move on to the next one. I'm thinking a couple more, couple more holes, and uh, and I'll be done here. What I have here is I have a bottle cap, and it's on the surface. This is how I found it. My detector is ringing in that it's iron. Just gonna because I can see it. I'm just gonna try the pinpointing function, 
just to kind of get an idea how this works because I'm still not I'm still not uh, sold on it. Well, I've got the bottle cap right in the center of the middle the two middle bars, and uh, my detector's not reading anything. But if I if I move the detector so that the bottle cap is underneath one of the outer rings of the coil, then it makes a loud noise. I don't know. Um, I'm not really sold on this detector. Actually, it's uh, a little disappointing. All right. I've been detecting in the woods for just over an hour, found some junk, some iron, found a shotgun shell. Um, the pros, it's compact and it's portable. It folds up easily. Could easily fit that into a backpack, your car seat, whatever. Um, very lightweight. But I have to admit, I was very excited when I got this. Uh, I'm not very excited anymore. The pinpointing, I don't like. Now, it could be that I need to spend a few more hours uh, learning it. The box does say that all you have to do is turn this on and start metal detecting. I tried to do that today, but it's been very frustrating for me. Like like I said before, pinpointing, I just can't I can't get it. I don't know. Um, I'm not sold on this. Um, I might have to give it more time. When I first got this, I thought that I could use it as a backup detector. Have it in my truck, bring it along with me. Uh, spur of the moment kind of thing if I saw an area that I wanted to detect. I was also thinking that I could bring it when I actually go detecting. Um, if a property owner was a little, you know, inquisitive about what was going on, I could easily take this out of the truck, um, expand it, and give it to him or her, turn it on, and it's plug and play. You know, get to it, find some coins. But all I found today was um, very frustrating. I'm pretty frustrated with, with the way things have gone and I'm not sold on this. So what I think I am going to do is I will clean it up, probably sell it and look for another backup detector. If you think that you know the detector that I should be purchasing, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, I do have, as you know, uh, Garrett AT Pro International. And I do want to back up just in case, whatever reason, the, the detector goes down or I want to bring somebody with me detecting. So please feel free to let me know what it is you think I should buy, um, what I should stay away from, or do I even need a backup detector? I don't know. You tell me. Anyways, until next time, good luck and happy hunting.